This reel has got to be one of my all-time favorite reels, the Corrado BFS. So let's get into it. Welcome back to another video. Today I just want to go over the Corrado BFS. Uh, I just want to talk about some of the things that I like about the reel and uh, the way I like to use it. Some of the baits I like to throw and just my experiences overall. All right, so here's the reel. We're just going to go over the reel first and then I just want to go over some of the baits I like to throw in my Power BFS uh, kind of box I put together. Now, I think the main appeal to this reel is going to be the ability to use lighter baits. I'm sure most of you guys know that if you try to throw a lighter lure, maybe if you have about an eighth of an ounce bait that you want to throw on a regular bait caster, it's not going to cast that far at all. It's going to, you're just going to cast it and it's just basically going to whip right down in front of you. But with this reel, it has a shallow spool, which will open up here. And you can see right there how shallow that spool is. Now with that, your spool weight's going to be lower. Uh, you're going to have less line on your reel. But line capacity is what you're mainly going to be giving up um, when you're using a BFS reel. Uh, don't expect to cast super far compared to a spinning reel. But the reason I like this is it's just something different. It's fun. Um, so this reel and the SLX BFS are the only two reels that I have that have a clicking drag. So it's pretty fun to use. Now, the other cool aspect about this reel is the ability to throw lighter baits. So if you want to throw more finesse baits, smaller baits around 8th ounce, down to 16th ounce, you can do that. Um, I usually don't go below 8th ounce. It gives you a good distance, um, not throwing really anything smaller than that. Now, as far as line on the Corrado BFS, I'm usually only throwing braid. 8 pound braid to a 8 pound fluorocarbon leader usually. Um, it gives me a good amount of distance and strength. You definitely go lower and lighter if you want to throw lighter baits, but I think eight is really good for the kind of baits I'm going to throw and the kind of fishing I'm going to be doing with this reel. Now, if you guys haven't checked it out, I have a video using the, I guess the JDM kind of version of this reel, which is just going to be the SLX BFS. They're pretty much identical. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a little link there at the top so you can um, watch the reel in action. Now let's get into some of the baits I like to throw. This is going to be my kind of power BFS box. Um, there's a lot of different random things I just kind of threw in here that I like to use with this reel. And if you're wondering what this tackle box is, it's a Busby Colony 15, I believe. So I think this is a pretty cool box. And if you guys want to check it out, it's a, uh, I think it's a really cool design. As you can see, these all are completely modular and they can be switched around. But the baits, so this is just a wide selection of, of lures I like to throw. So we'll just go down the different little modular sections I have here. Now first I just want to give some love to my favorite bait here. This is the Rapala Rip and Wrap, the Ultralight 04, which is one of my favorite sizes. It's not too small. Um, it runs about at 3 sixteenths of an ounce. And the 05, which is at about uh, 5 sixteenths of an ounce, I believe. Not only that, but you could throw a little swim baits, a little 2.8 inch Kitek on a 16th ounce jig head. 16th ounce jig head. Jesus. And a little dark sleeper I have in here. Little underspins. This is a little mini buzz bait. Some smaller profile spinner baits. Miki rig style things. All right, next little section, jerk baits. This is a little smaller profile, X Wrap 08. This is a little bit bigger, but with the Karata BFS, I mean, you could be throwing something as small as this Husky Jerk 06, which I believe is, let's see here, an eighth of an ounce. So, I mean, anything lower than this, I'm not going to be throwing. An eighth of an ounce is pretty small. I mean, this is a two and a half inch bait. Uh, let's see what else we got. Different style jerk baits. Um, some smaller profile spy baits. Now, in the same little section, I have some top water stuff. Um, this is a really small whopper plopper. I think this is a small size. They make the 60. And this is really fun to throw, especially if you've got your um, running braid on here. It's like perfect to throw a little um, top water. And you can even be throwing some smaller 
little two inch poppers. All right, next little section. Here's some just some terminal tackle stuff, some little EWG hooks. I mean, you could throw wacky rigs, Texas rigs, any small um, soft plastics that you want on here. Some small jig heads. And this is kind of a cool little bait still. I forgot what it's called. Whatever. I'll just skip that one. Fuck it. Little underspins. Little eighth ounce underspins. Pretty cool. Um, some more terminal tackle stuff. But I mean, you can see here the small jig heads you could throw on here for like crappie and panfish. That'll the Karata BFS will easily kind of toss out there. So if you want to try that, I mean, you could do that. Um, I got some inline spinners in this little box right here. Got a really small one in there. I think it's a MEP Zero. All these are different MEPs. I love MEPs. Now in this box, we got some smaller nano jigs. I think these are Mullix nano jigs at about an eighth of an ounce. Different colors. Pretty cool stuff. And in the last section, we have chatterbaits. Got these smaller chatterbait minis. I mean, this reel will easily throw that. That's a jig. Got a couple chatterbaits in here. So you can see there's, I mean, there's a ton of different cool stuff that you could throw, just a smaller profile. I mean, if you're a finesse fisherman and you like throwing smaller baits and want to throw smaller things on a bait caster, you know, I definitely recommend this reel. I mean, I have no complaints with this reel, really. Um, the only kind of issue I think is the, um, the brake adjustment dial is a little stiff. Um, it's not just this one, the other Corrado BFS I have too is also just stiff. Um, but I mean, pro and con, I guess. Um, I mean, the dial's not gonna move anywhere, so. But other than that, I mean, no problems with this reel. Everything feels good. I mean, this reel isn't the most capable BFS reel. Um, the way I use it for like kind of power BFS stuff, um, I really don't go down under an eighth of an ounce. But if you're looking for a reel that is gonna be throwing much, much lighter baits, like down to like a 64th of an ounce, a 32nd ounce, um, I'd definitely check out something else because this is more um, capable for down to an eighth ounce comfortably, maybe a 16th of an ounce. But this I think is perfect if you guys are um, gonna be throwing something similar to this, kind of um, kind of more finesse stuff. But that's about it for the crowd of BFS. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. And I hope this little video kind of um, helped you guys out. If you guys were thinking about purchasing this reel, hopefully the kind of baits I like to throw and the capabilities of it kind of helped you make a choice. But I definitely think this is a fun reel and I think a lot of people will enjoy it. Thanks for watching.